CEO Nation, welcome back. So this video has been a couple months in the making here. Reason being, if I'm gonna recommend you guys a fragrance, I wanna make sure I know this inside and out, especially for this price point. For a lot of other fragrances, I'll test them for a week and then do a full review on them for you guys. This one, on the other hand, I wanted to give it a couple months just because it is so, so expensive. This fragrance definitely, first off the bat, should not cost this much just for what it is. I mean, Aventus, I get it with that being, you know, four or 500 bucks. It's a nice fragrance. It does have the prestige to it. This one, on the other hand, though, it's, you'll see. So the fragrance we're talking about today, Vinif, or Sublime Vinny from Creed. So the bottle looks very cool. As you can see, we have all this gold all over. We have this little dangly thing here on the back of it. It says gilded with 10 karat gold. Okay, so the bottle itself has actual gold on it. Nice little cap. The cap feels very cheap though. It's very, very light. Not a big fan of that. Also too, one thing my girlfriend pointed out, this right here, the little tag. And again, for the price of this, guys, this is around $800 um, where I live to go buy this straight retail from Nordstrom's. This is a 75 milliliter bottle. It's from the Creed uh, Lay Exclusives collection. So it's pricey. But yeah, with this, one of the weird things is my girlfriend pointed out, she's like, why'd they use almost like a hair elastic for this? Why didn't they use like a ribbon or something fancier? And I totally agree, because it does look a little cheap, especially when you're paying that much money. And normally, not one to complain about looks of a fragrance, but again, with the price, if you're paying almost, you could buy a used car for the amount of money that you're buying this for. I would not recommend buying this first off. Cap's kind of cheap, it doesn't stick on very well. If I was to pick this up by the cap, this bottle would drop. You're out 800 bucks from that. And I mean, even too, if you can find this on eBay for cheap, we're talking five, 600 bucks, maybe 400 bucks um, Canadian you can buy this for, but where I'm at, it's pretty expensive with shipping and taxes and exchange rate, all that stuff. So yeah, Sublime Vinny. Um, bottle looks cool, gold, it's, you know, has the Creed kind of presentation. Now let's get on to the scent. Sprayer, very, very nice. It's one great compliment I can give opens up with this massive hit of a citrus. Citrus that's in here is this lemon kind of vibe. The way I'd describe it is take lemon extract. Um, it's that kind of smell. So it's a sweeter lemon, not like a real authentic, you know, rip open a lemon, very fresh, but it smells kind of like lemon extract. To me, that's what I get from this. So lemon extract, very sweet, very baking-like, um, mixed with vanilla. And that's basically what this fragrance is for the entire life of it. After an hour or two, say about two hours um, the lemon goes away completely you get like a little lingering of it it leaves just that kind of I guess it kind of rounds out the edge almost um, it's like say if you take an orange fragrance get rid of the fresh orange and it just has this kind of lingering of orange scent that's what that's like with the lemon in this and it's just this really sweet slightly powdery vanilla um, the vanilla in this is nowhere near as powdery as say like midnight in Paris or vulgari black Nothing like that, but it's kind of a similar vanilla to what you get in Vinny Fatal. It's kind of the best way to describe that. Um, just not as masculine and not as oomphy and powerful. It's just very, very feminine. That's the way I describe this. So yeah, that's kind of what the fragrance is. Big, big cons to this fragrance is the longevity and projection. If you go read on Fragranica, most people will agree with this. This fragrance does not last that long. Um, realistically, out of this, I can get... If I spray it on heavy, a good six hours, um, four hours of projection, maybe not, not even that, let's say three hours of projection, and then six, six hours of longevity in total without having to reapply. That's not great for a fragrance that costs literally the price of a used car. Now with Creed, of course they are expensive. They do have a lot of fragrances in their lineup that cost a lot of money. Green Irish Tweed costs a decent amount of money. Aventus holds its value, gains value daily. And Aventus itself, I don't mind paying an exuberant amount of money for that. Three, four hundred bucks. It gets compliments. It smells great. It's the prestige that you get with Aventus. The bottle looks great. This, on the other hand, bottle looks great. But the scent doesn't last. You're also not getting as much as you would with, say, Aventus. So I think, honestly, if I were you guys, take the 800 bucks that this cost retail and go buy two bottles of Aventus retail if you really want this fragrance. Um, yeah, not a huge fan of this. If you can get this for a steal of a deal, I think it's worth it. If you can get this for under, let's say 150, go for it because this is a great fragrance. Um, it smells good. It will get you compliments. It's a little basic, um, but again, it, let's say this was released for say 70, 
I would have no problem paying for that. And I guarantee you guys, I would tell you this is a great fragrance. This is well worth it. Worth every penny, it smells great, and I would have a lot of praise for this. However, with the price point of this, it's very restrictive for most people to own. And from Creed, you'd expect something that would be a bit more oomphy, that would last longer. And again, that price, it's just insane. Who wants to pay that much money for a fragrance? So yeah, Sublime Vanille, guys. I'm gonna give this a three out of 10. I do enjoy it. It smells great, especially if you're a fan of vanilla fragrances like myself. But I just can't recommend to you guys to go out there and buy this for the price point and for what you get from it. There's a lot better vanilla fragrances on the market. Go spend that money, buy, buy Vanille Fatal. You will not regret it. That is an incredible vanilla fragrance. Or even to go buy vanilla from the body shop. That one's great. Lots of other cool vanilla fragrances out there, but yeah, Sublime Vinny from Creed. That's my review. Take care, guys.